Wow, the walls are closing in for Tyson Fury after Tyson Fury claimed Deontay Wilder wanted step aside money to allow Joshua Fury. That story is slowly being ripped to pieces and ripped to shreds and I will show you in this video how Tyson Fury's past comments are not adding up. Stay tuned. What up Fight World, it's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button also subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you love what I'm doing, smash the like button. I drop daily content, do live streams, let you know what type of shape the fighters are in. All of your boxing needs, this is your one-stop shop, Boxing Ego. Do yourself a favor, subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss a thing. And let's get into it. Now, Tyson Fury had accused Deontay Wilder of wanting to step aside for $20 million, right? This article just came out on Sky Sports, link in the description. Wilder wants to de derail AJ Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury, and he's thrilled with the arbitrator ruling, right? So we'll click onto it and it says Wilder thrilled after Tyson Fury was ordered to face him. So right then and there, this is a discrepancy from what Tyson Fury claims. Y'all must have forgot. Tyson Fury says, what a joke Deontay Wilder has become. And he posted this. He says, Wilder asked for $20 million to move over. Hashtag Joker. Looks like I have to crack his skull. So keep this in your mind. So Fury claimed, you know, a known liar, Tyson Fury, who's failed drug tests before and has been accused of cheating in the first Wilder fights. He's claiming that Wilder was asking for 20 million to move over and he's a joker. But this new article from Wilder's people is consistent with Malik Scott's statement, who's team Wilder, Wilder's new trainer, that Wilder wasn't looking for step aside money. It says Wilder's thrilled after Tyson Fury was ordered to face him. So if Wilder just wanted money, then the whole arbitration could have been solved much sooner than it took because I think it started in about February and recently in the last two weeks it was concluded. So if Wilder was just after money and willing to step aside for Joshua Fury and to fight the winner, then they could have settled that and Fury would be on his way to fight Joshua. So it says the former WBC heavyweight champion will receive an opportunity to regain his title after an arbitration case and ruling. Wilder has remained silent as he prepares with his training team, something the UK uh, boxing scene should take note of. Instead of Eddie Hearn promising you Joshua Fury and this, that, and the third, and Tyson Fury being caught up in all these lies, maybe remain silent, right? Shelly Finkel, who is one of Wilder's advisors and managers, he says, Wilder is just thrilled. It was just phenomenal, Finkel told Sky Sports. It was a great, great feeling. He goes on to say, there's a, a parable about the dog with the bone. The big bone was Saudi Arabia and you end up with nothing. Bob Arum, Tyson Fury's uh, promoter, wants it in July because they believe Tyson Fury is just going to walk through Deontay Wilder and then they can get that fight on with Joshua provided Joshua beats Usyk. That's what their game plan is, obviously, but we aim to derail that. We'll see. Fury had announced Undisputed with Joshua. I don't really need to talk too much about that because it's cap. Shelly Finkel's response to Joshua Fury says, I don't think you have an arbitration out there and you go say, well, we've made a deal already. That's to me is not a logical way of doing things. And then after that, you don't hear Eddie Hearn, Joshua's promoter, say anything. The reason, obviously, someone told him, you better not say things because if Fury fights you, your guy instead, you have massive, massive liability. You have induced a breach of contract that's been uh, judiciated in the court and you induced him to do it by hanging Joshua out there for it. So once again, this is exactly what I told you guys. Ego Stradamus strikes again, right? Ego Stradamus strikes again. You have Tyson Fury and AJ, and one of the fighters is involved in basically a legally binding arbitration and mediation process, and you just totally blow it, like, blow it um, off 
and you say, hey, we're going to negotiate a fight. And then when it doesn't happen your way, you have a temper tantrum and it becomes the blame game. Shelly Finkel said it became obvious to Eddie Hearn because he's smart. I better shut up. And I had nothing to do with it. But they knew there was an arbitration case. Everyone knew it. And there was at one point, Aram went for summary judgment. It was denied. Once it's denied, you've got to know there is something the judge is thinking because he would have given you an indication the case was over. Oh, so that's a, that's a tidbit that a lot of people didn't know. I guess Aram was looking for like a closure to it prematurely and the, the judge denied it. So he, that means there were still thoughts and stuff that was pending information being processed you have to have your own self logic you got to say look even if it's one percent chance i'm going to lose it's still a one percent chance i can't say it's not going to happen they deluded themselves wilder's advisor al Heyman and i just continued to press forward you didn't hear us in the papers you didn't hear us say anything avoided all press i just don't get that kind of sureness that nothing could happen talk to him shelly so once again Team Joshua, Team Fury, they all look miserable because they overlooked this whole process and they thought it was sweet. And then come to find out Wilder won the arbitration and they were caught with their pants down. It says Wilder was not interested in a step aside deal, although Finkel has questioned whether the other promotional team even willing to make a serious offer. I believe Aram was shocked, he said. He really would have preferred to have the Joshua fight. As soon as things in court looked a bit bad for the decision, I assumed he put some things on hold. He was hoping for the fight in Saudi Arabia. We did not want anything but the fight. It was obvious. So once again, you have Wilder's team showing synergy. Wilder's team all on the same page and saying that we were looking for the Fury 3 fight. We never looked for a step aside or anything. But on my logic, if it were me and I were in Eddie's shoes and there's uh and there's before the decision i'm looking at 150 million plus pay-per-view plus international tv whatever looking close to 200 million what would what would it take to say hey guys there's a chance we'll lose so instead of making 200 mil let's offer them something if they're interested it never came to that it's just silly if it were me i would have spoke to my fighter and said look instead of making 100 million you make 10 you make 90 and a lot more than he's gonna make fighting Usyk." and we hope to disrupt the party bob aram look it bob aram and eddie hearn declined to comment wow i tell you guys all the time the most dangerous thing is the camera and the microphone after all that stuff shelly finkel said and eddie hearn's on the road for devin haney's fight tomorrow and he has nothing to say nothing to say there's no big top rank fight coming up you know to the point where bob aram he has all these time for the uk um channels and stuff to do interviews and stuff but now they don't have nothing to say in response to shelly finkel's comment hilarious so i'll tell you guys the walls are closing in now back to it tyson fury again you tell me what sounds realistic he says wilder asked for 20 million to move on but i'm gonna play a clip from eddie hearn and tyson fury's dad john fury and they both admit that they wanted the Joshua, the Fury fight to happen, and they didn't even bother bartering or trying to. Bob Eddie, Eddie Hearn says Bob Aram and Tyson Fury's team just accepted defeat, and they didn't even try to make any type of deals or even offer a step aside. So once again, you have Tyson Fury, a known liar, saying Wilder's asking for 20 mil. His team, all on the same page, right? Malik Scott said. Wilder's different. You're dealing with a different mf -er. Shelly Finkel is saying, we never wanted step aside money. And Bob Arum and Eddie Hearn declined to comment. Listen to these clips. Roll the clips. When you've got, like, and the worst thing is, is Tyson Fury just playing along like this, you know, like a, like a fiddler. You know, he's like, no complaints from him. You know, he should be kicking and screaming, saying, hang on a minute. No, guys, like, we're moving forward with, with the AJ fight. I'm making like $60 million more to, to take this fight. You better sort this mess out. But everyone was just, oh, okay, fine. That that suits us. We're going to do this. And that was the thing that pissed me off more than anything. It was, was kind of strange. With all the work that's gone in, you never even tried. You know, as soon as this ruling was made, you just went, great, yeah, sign a contract. You couldn't have signed it quicker. 
I mean, I think Deontay Wilder signed it on the 19th. That was like, like, that was like a day Friday. after the, the ruling. So people were in cahoots. I've spoke to our Heyman. No, nah, there's no interest in that. So we're just going to do the fight on July 24th. And by the way, everyone's already signed. So sorry, mate. But if this was the other way around, I would have gone out, you know, I mean, I would have asked you. Next thing would have been on GoFundMe. Whatever it takes to make this fight. But... There was, no, there was no interest to make this fight. So, yeah. Look, 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 sorry, just one more question about this. So, I'm using these complete random examples, yeah? Just say they were earning 50 million apiece, yeah? AJ and Fury. Just say, right, for example, right, yeah. yeah? It's more or less whatever. Mm -hmm. 50 million apiece. So, effectively, step aside money, would it come out of that 50, like 100 no, million? Or no. is it something on top of that? It would come out of wherever it was negotiated, right? it would come out of wherever it needs to come out. Now, would AJ have given up some of his purse for a Deontay Wilder step aside? Maybe not. He never got asked. We was expecting to get asked. I was expecting them to get straight on to Saudi. Now, would Saudi have paid more for the step aside? Maybe not. Worth a call? Or not? Just going to give up? Because you can't be that bothered if you're just going to give up and roll over. The whole thing stinks. Right? So, again, no, no conversations for step aside. I mean, Bob may say, yeah, I spoke to Al Heyman and asked him, would you step aside? And he said, no, and that was it. We just moved on. Oh, great, great effort, mate. Well done. So, again, you know, what it comes down to is, did they ever want the fight? It's fighting AJ. I wanted to fight AJ. I have no interest in Deontay Wilder. So why has he got to fight Wilder? I told him on a phone conversation, chuck the belt in the bin, let him have it, come back and fight AJ. I'm just concerned whether Tyson can raise his game for Wilder. Whether he gets complacent, makes a mistake, you know, but I don't know. He's got every chance of going wrong out there. Why wouldn't you take a $20 million step aside without fighting and a guaranteed shot at the winner when you're fighting for a lot less money than $20 million and you're risking getting your skull caved in again? It don't make sense on his part. So obviously, the powers that be in America are involved, aren't they? So you guys heard it for yourself, Eddie Hearn. He says that there was no attempt made for Step Aside. And then John Fury is the one bringing up Step Aside. So once again, they're trying to throw it on Wilder and say Wilder is the one that wanted Step Aside money, but they're the ones that keep talking about Step Aside. Finally, this is the previous article from October 11th, The Athletic. Tyson Fury says he has moved on from Deontay Wilder trilogy. I made several videos, that's why you guys gotta stay in tune. Um, smash the subscribe button for the latest and greatest. Tyson Fury, you see it in green. I was looking forward to smashing Wilder again, a quick and easy fight, but Wilder and his team were messing around with the date, even though we know there was a global pandemic. They don't really want the fight with the lineal heavyweight champion. They know how it ends. The world knows how it will end with Wilder on his butt again. Fury said after the, the fight kept pushing the dates back, then they asked me if I would agree to push it to December. I agreed December 19th. Then they tried to change it again. I've been training. I'm ready. We're, then they tried moving off December 19th. This is last year. Pushing to next year. Enough was enough. I moved on. So who is really afraid of this trilogy? Fury's lying and saying Wilder's asking for step aside money. But previously he told the world that Wilder was afraid of the lineal Gypsy King and all this stuff. But he was the one that had the erratic behavior and try to move off the date wow this is looking bad for tyson fury you know his team is all over the place he's caught in a lot of lies and contradictions let me know what you guys think drop your thoughts in the comment section use my link in the description to get to buddy we working